On this episode, we're going to be talking about hydroponic fertilizer, EC, and pH. I'm going to show you the method that I use personally and the safety equipment I like to use when I'm doing it. I suggest you strap yourselves in because this is going to be a good one. For safety equipment, we have gloves, we have eye protection, I have a respiratory mask. Mackenzie, why do you wear a mask, you say? Because the plant product can actually cause organ damage through prolonged or repeated exposures. It also acts as an oxidizer, so you don't want to keep it to flammable materials or a lot of heat. And when you're mixing up or taking out plant product from the bag, you can see those particles in the air and you don't want to be breathing those in because I can assure you it's not safe for your lungs. Before you do anything with hydroponic fertilizer, I suggest you read the warning labels and prepare yourself with PPE, proper protective equipment. Now that we got the safety equipment out of the way, I'm going to run you through the tools as well that you're going to need to do this job. Three separate mixing containers. Three separate jars. Each bag needs its own container for mixing it before it goes in the mixing tank, before it goes in the main tank. You're going to need a spoon and you're going to need a scale. So these are the tools that you're gonna need aside from the safety equipment. So now that you know the dangers, I'm gonna take each individual fertilizer out of the bag and show you what we have. From the top, we have plant prod fertilizer. Calcium nitrate. Magnesium sulfate, which is the same as Epsom sulfate. You're gonna need a handsome feather to mix it up. Ding, 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 ding. One thing I did forget to mention too is you're gonna want a long sleeve shirt on for when you're taking the fertilizer out of the bag. You don't want to expose any of your skin to the fertilizer. So now we have our fertilizers and you can see what they look like. Let's talk. Here we have the magnesium. Here we have the calcium nitrate. Here we have the MPK fertilizer. 61131. The reason you need the calcium nitrate is because you're only putting six nitrogen from your NPK, your main MPK fertilizer. When it comes to hydroponic fertilizer, it really narrows down to the water at the beginning. The best water to work with when it comes to mixing up fertilizer is reverse osmosis water or the most natural well water that you can find usually in an artesian well. Here at Papa's Farms we just had an artesian well installed and we're finding that the water is excellent. But research has shown that the reverse osmosis water is the best source of water for mixing up hydroponic fertilizer. For anybody just getting into this, as I said before, read the label before you start working with any of these fertilizers. And if you are relatively new, the easiest thing to do for you starting out is to read the label because the directions actually give you a specified amount of fertilizer and calcium you're supposed to use. On the rate of application on the bag specified for 100 liters of water, it says to add 115 grams of plant prod to 85 grams of calcium nitrate. It also mentions that you mix these two fertilizers separately. There's no mention on the bag of needing the extra magnesium sulfate that we use, but we do this to really stiffen up the heads of romaine and iceberg lettuces. It also gives a nice little firmness to a bib lettuce as well. And that's the reason we do. Diving right into our ratio, we'll start with magnesium sulfate. In a 200 liter barrel, we use 30 grams of magnesium sulfate, AKA Epsom sulfate. Next, our calcium nitrate. We like to use 185 grams. Lastly, for the plant prod, we mix in 230 grams. 
That's the ratio we like to use and it allows us to keep our EC and our pH at the levels that we require. Let's talk about that. During the winter, I like to run a 2.0 on the EC and I always try to maintain a pH of 6 all year round. Now given we have an excellent water source, I don't have to adjust the water up or down when it comes to the pH. I'm usually running a 6, a 6.2 sometimes, usually every 2-3 to three days I'll give them one barrel of fertilizer in the mixing tank. During the summer I like to run about a 1.4, 1.5 EC. And this is easily maintained by actually following the directions on the bag. At the end of the day, it's not rocket science. Even I'm able to do it, so everybody should be able to do it. I got one more special tool I forgot to show you. Say hello to my little friend. This is a hot water heater. Heats up my mixing tank for the days that it's cold. Usually during the summer, you can go ahead and fill up your tank with a fresh batch of water and throw that mix in with fertilizer and that actually helps to cool down the main tank. But during the winter, the opposite has to be taken into effect. You can't take water as 40 degrees Fahrenheit out of the ground, put it in your mixing tank and throw it on your plants. You will shock them and they're not gonna like it for a little while. So if we have to put in a fertilizer batch soon and we don't have the time to let the water sit in the tank for a day or two to heat up with the temperature of the greenhouse, we put this in here and when we come back in about an hour, it's warmed up to about 10 or 15 degrees. Sometimes I even let it go up to 20 degrees. Plants love it. Now that you know the tools you must use, the safety equipment, and the amount of fertilizer that you use, you're able to mix all these up in separate containers. Once they are dissolved within the water, you can add all that into your mixing tank where you again mix it all together and then you can put it into your main tank. As you can see, our mixing tank is here with some water. We have our element. And once we have all the fertilizers mixed up separately in their separate containers, we add them to the main tank. We have a submersible pump here. We take the hose from the pump, it's a very short one, and we put it in here. And we'll let that sit in there for about 15 minutes to really give that a good mix. And at that point, we'll take it over and we'll put it in our main tank. There you have it, folks. Now Papa's Fire mixes up fertilizer and the fertilizers we use, the EC that we look for, and the pH. I hope you guys have a good day. Bloopers. Oh my God. Prolonged or repeated exposure. Prolonged. Prolonged.